ಸದ್ಗುರವೆ ನಮಃ ಹಲೋ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಜೈ ಗುರು ರಾಧಾ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಾಹಿಗುರು ಸತ್ಯರಾಮ್ ಸಾ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಬಂದಗಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಯೋ ವಿತ್ an excerpt from a discourse of sadguru maharshi mehi paramhans ji maharaj he says some people who are not fully acquainted with the concept of meditation on the attributeless sound pass all sorts of remarks or comments an old med- mendicant said to me once air moves through different parts of the body and blood also circulates within the body the sounds that we hear in here in meditation are these very sounds of what use are these i told him swami ji this is not how sound meditation is to be done this is not how sound meditation is to be done or meditation on the inner sound is to be done then how is that practiced he asked i said sir before doing sound meditation single pointedness stilling of sight in a point would have to be accomplished the mind would thus transcend the gross creation to move into to rise into the astral or subtle realm having entered into the astral region gross sounds originating in the lower gross world would cease to be heard and the mind would naturally begin to perceive the subtle sounds of subtle planes to this he replied well yes that could be possible people say to me that whatever i say becomes irrefutable while what they say is often subject to objections or becomes an incomplete statement practice meditation by staying in the fourth state apart from the three states of wakefulness dream and deep sleep there is a fourth state called turiya this is the state wherein inner meditation is to be practiced he who practicing meditation thus advances far ahead gets tuned to the indivisible sound the sounds originating from lower planes lower than the plane from which the quintessential indivisible primeval sound arises are also useful in that they help the meditating soul in advancing further and further rising higher and higher we should know that a sound inherently possesses power of attraction the mind and or soul the mind and or soul is pulled in the direction from which a sound is issuing forth a dog also you see listens to its master's call and comes close this is the speciality of surat shabd yog or the yoga of inner sound just think from where did the sound come people say it originates from the sky i say to them then that that would be an illusory unreal sound whatever sound you can and do hear remaining in awareness of this gross body that is made of five elements namely clay water heat or fire air and space 
is not the inner sound. That sound emanating from the higher spheres is heard only after you have stilled your attention. You have stilled your attention in the Agya Chakra or the tenth door or the third eye. Sadguru Maharshi Mehi Paramhans. Hope you like this brief presentation, brief discourse, but very useful discourse of Sadguru Maharshi Mehi Paramhans Ji. Soon I'll be back with another priceless pearl of wisdom. Thank you so much. Jai Guru, Vaheguru, Radha Swami, Satya Ramsa. Namaste.